Lily is um, an interesting story. We, uh, you know, Mindy had set up with a Yorkie rescue group. So she was uh, located in a kill shelter down in Maryland. And I'm talking about you, yes. So, and her time was almost up. So the uh, representative with this rescue group brought the dog to her house. And as soon as she walked in the door with the lady, I said, that dog's never leaving this house. <laughs> so Made an emotional attachment. Yeah. Archie was uh, the newest addition, and he came from the Connecticut Humane Society. He was with a hoarder, and um, they were working with the hoarder to relinquish her animals one at a time. I knew I wanted a no another non-shedding dog, and saw Archie's face pop up on the computer one morning and said I wanted to meet him. And Rich said we didn't have time, had too much to do, and I said we know we have time, we have to make time. So. We wound our way to the shelter that day and I met Archie. I sat down in front of this cage and I would not leave it. I didn't want anybody else to take him home. I wanted to meet him one-on-one -on -one. and uh, I got the chance to bond with him. I sent Richard home to pick up the other dogs and bring them back to the shelter because we wanted to do a meet and greet, make sure everybody got along well. We brought Archie home. Archie had never stepped outside. He hadn't walked on grass. He didn't know how to walk on a leash and he would just stand around and look while everybody else was doing their business and it took him over a year to figure it out. Now he knows what a fire hydrant is and <laughs> it's just wonderful to see them bring them into your home and, and you know they, they've gone through a rough patch um, and you don't know their backstory. They can't tell you. They make our house yeah, complete. They, yeah they're, they're part of the family. They are the family. Yeah. They are our family. We did we had three dogs when we came up here. We had a, another poodle, um, a white, a white uh, male poodle named Rudy. Rudy Valentino. And he was, uh, we got him on Valentine's Day. We had somebody, walk, we were walking the dogs one day and one of our neighbors said, it takes it takes a confident man to walk a white poodle. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from rescuing, if you aren't able to bring an animal into your home, uh, you can go to your local rescue groups or go to your local shelter. Uh, check out your local shelters online. They usually have a wish list of, of items that they need and helping to socialize the animals, spending time with them. A lot of them have rough backgrounds and they're not used to being around people or children. And so they need, uh, they need a, little, a little TLC and a little guidance uh, to get them ready to go into their forever home. Social media, send the message out, adopt, don't shop. Um, save a dog, save, save an animal's life, they'll love you forever. I've done um, pet therapy with my dogs where I took them to an assisted living facility, an extended care facility. Uh, one of my dogs and I worked in the um, memory care with Alzheimer's patients. Very, very rewarding uh, outside of the shelter. Whether it's going to the shelter and helping in their business office, helping behind the scenes, um, getting the dogs out for walks, there's a million things you can do to help them without taking one home first. Taking one home is always nice too. Yeah. <laughs> There's plenty to do for all.